We've gotten a new Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 EP2 patch still in wave one. Hopefully this can go to wave two if all goes well. We're going straight into the patch notes. Under features and gameplay under the location category, they did a mini map pass done on all landing zones. Under AI, they've improved the AI usable fallback to avoid AI using objects incorrectly, standing on boxes, chairs, benches, etc. They did gameplay updates as well for IFCS, gravity compensation, and automatic precision mode. It says here a couple of safety functions have been added to IFCS to keep players safe. Currently, there are no UI indications for their states as they will be a part of the new MFDs, which will ship after 3.23 however we added keybinds so you can still enable or disable them gravity compensation is now enabled by default in coupled and decoupled modes in areas with gravity independent whether the landing gear is in or out you will find the keybind under flight movement at the bottom of the list they are labeled as gravity compensation Automatic precision mode enforces a maximum speed limit of 20 to 30 meters per second when your landing gear is out or extending. Later we will extend that to flying within hangars, etc. You will find the key binds under flight movement at the bottom of the list. They are labeled as automatic precision mode. They also did updates to weapon regen pool. It says increasing regeneration output by 25% meaning weapons will regenerate ammo quicker. They removed the crosshair from the ship magnification settings. Moby Glass homepage performance update. The main page will now only list ships that have had their initial spawn location set. They've updated the contract page to match the visual style of the rest of the Moby Glass and fixed missing icons. The main minor UI tweaks to loot inventory tabs, visuals, and added looting icons for attachments and weapons. On the Cortec, they made various physics performance improvements, made various UI performance improvements, made further server performance optimizations. They updated the DLSS SDK to 3.7.0, as well as Toby to version 9.0.3. 0.25. This one also comes with a few bug fixes as well. They did a fix for vehicle HUD is missing in UI elements. Now this is for multiple vehicles. They also fixed another issue pertaining to distribution centers where players fall through floor near grid zone transition portals. They also fixed another issue for grab left vehicles will bounce and rotate violently if dismounted with engines running low to the ground. They also fixed another issue where sometimes when utilizing the tractor beam to move cargo within a ship, the cargo will snap outside of the ship. They also fixed another issue where players is able to steal display armor in all shops. Also another one where Lorville and Orison transits are offset from the station doors causing visual and collision issues. Also another one where missing collision for transit stations doors at central business district. Also multiple areas across area 18 have Vizera portal issues with environment assets. They also fixed an ASOP related one where for ground vehicles ASOP floating in place away from ASOP prefabs. They also fix an issue where multiple screens located around Grim Hex are blank. Also another one where AI presence at a settlement can become stuck in their spawn closet due to missing or invalid nav mesh. Also another one pertaining to the new player experience where your first outing is completed and skipping the tutorial on subsequent login results in losing access to purchased ships. Interesting. They also fix an issue where the rare retro thrusters of the Pisces are far too weak for atmosphere and zero G flight. They also fix an issue where the remote turrets cannot be accessed from the co-pilot seat using an interaction prompt. Also another issue where the exit to menu does not return player to the menu. Also another one where checkpoint 30 respawn point placed the player in the wrong direction so now this is for classic race and arena commander as well as another fix for custom lobby invites appear with string names instead of the user of the sender 
as well as the copian force reaction has also been fixed along with this is eight client crashes three server crashes three vulcan specific gpu crashes backend service crash fix nvidia dlss crash fix and two vulcan gpu client crash fixes just to let y'all know my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you on the next video